Keep your heads lifted up, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. We see the day approaching, and here's the verse of the day. And it's Psalms 34, 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. Hallelujah. Yeshua. And don't forget, Jesus Christ said, Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. And most of you already know, Jesus Christ, Luke 21, 25, he said that the signs of his coming would be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. In the first chapter of the Bible, Genesis 1, 14, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, the sun, the moon, and the stars, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And Yeshua has called me to show you the signs. So we're headed straight to the sun. And as you can see right here today on 1212, the sunspots that are earth facing are 3920, 3921. And as you can see right here on Bible Strong's Concordance, Strong's Hebrew 3920, the definition of 3920, the sunspot is to capture, seize, take, catch, ensnare. The exact meaning for harpazo. Rapture. And when you go to 3921, it's the exact same thing. A taking, capture, just like harpazo. And the day is approaching, family. Praise God. And God is perfect. His signs are perfect. His timing is perfect. And most of you already know. It's all over the internet, family. How the rebels in Syria captured Damascus. Praise God, I just felt his Holy Spirit through my whole face and body. All glory to you, Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And I haven't put out a video for over two months because there hasn't been any signs as big as the 10-2 eclipse and the star of Jacob's trouble, which I seen with my own eyes. And I watched changing colors, colors of the rainbow, constantly. And it was amazing, family. If you haven't seen it, you could do a search. And there's videos all over the internet of the star of Jacob changing colors. And that's why I haven't put a video out for over two months. I don't just put videos out every day. I wait for Jesus Christ and him to tell me and show me signs. And I'm not just going to put out a video to ask for donations to give food and drink to the lesser of the brethren or to help me. And praise God, all glory to our Father for every single one of you that have ever helped me. I've been struggling and barely paying my bills and getting by. And I do need help. And I would love to hand out more packs and with Bibles and supplies and tents for Christmas. So if Jesus Christ is leading you to donate, all my information is under this video in the description box. And now I'm going to show you what else I'm seeing. And I'm about to show you something that I've never seen before. All glory to our Father. And when you go to time and date, you could see it right there at the bottom. The new moon on December 30th, which is Christina's birthday, is at 2226 Universal Time. And here's what's gigant, enormous that I've never seen happen before. When you go a fortnight ahead to the full moon, after that new moon at 2226, the full moon on January 13 is at the exact same time, family, 2226, back to back. And the full moon and the new moon, biblically, are the appointed times. And remember, the signs are in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And all glory to our Father, I showed you the asteroid Yeshua years ago. All glory to you, God. And I've been showing you all these biblical asteroids that he's been showing me for years. And I've been tracking them. And right now, today, you can see Yeshua is right there. And as you go through the days... And you pass this year, you could see January 
20th inauguration day, the asteroid Yeshua is directly in the sun, family. That's God's perfection. And as you can see right there, what they call Venus, the wandering star that they call a planet, is in conjunction with the other wandering star that they call Saturn the day before the inauguration day. It's not a coincidence. This is God's perfection. His signs are in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And if you keep following his signs, it's going to lead us directly right to the rapture. And the day after, January 21st, you could see right here, there will be six what they call planets visible. Leading up to January 21st, the planet parade, the planetary alignment, that is also God's perfection. Seven planets will align for viewing in early 2025. The rare celestial event will start just before January 21st with what they call Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. And as you can see right there, at the end of February, the seventh what they call planet, Mercury, will join the fun. Which leads right to March and the biggest sign that we've ever seen. I've been telling you all glory to our Father for over four years. And it's right there. Four years ago, three blood moons on Purim. Three years in a row, 2024, 2025, and 2026. And this one, this blood moon, which I'm about to show you right now, is a total blood moon eclipse. And it's gigantinormous because it's right in what they call the woman. And as you go through the hours, you can see it turned to blood right there. And there it is on 313. Going into 314, the eclipse is right there. The total blood moon eclipse, family. So keep your heads up. And you can't limit God. Anything can happen. And it could happen overnight. And speaking of it happening overnight, I'll remind you. All glory to our Father. And I've shared this before. Praise you, Father. All glory to you in Jesus Christ's name. And you all know. Isaiah chapter 17, verse 1, the burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city and it shall be a ruinous heap. Well, that chapter is only 14 verses long. And when you get to the last verse, the word says, and behold, at evening tide trouble and before the morning, he is not. This is the portion of them that spoil us and the lot of them that rob us. Well, here's what's gigantinormous. The next chapter, Isaiah chapter 18, is only seven verses long. And when you get to Isaiah chapter 19, the first verse, the burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. It's Jesus Christ coming on a cloud. Keep your heads up, family. We're going home soon.